You know it's not uncommon to accidentally delete objects such as users and group account from our ADDS server. The Active Directory Recycle Bin makes it possible for us to easily recover those accidentally deleted objects. In this lesson today, I'm going to be showing you how to work with the Active Directory Recycle Bin. Let's begin. Windows Server Operating Systems comes with the Active Directory Recycle Bin feature out of the box. Except, of course, you're using an older version of Windows Server, such as a server earlier than 2008. Other than that, if the Windows Server that you have is a version that is later than 2008, then you should be able to work with the Active Directory Recycle Bin. First, let's see where you can find it and how to turn it on. First, I need you to keep in mind that the Active Directory Administrative Center doesn't show up on the Windows Server out of the box. You'll be able to find it if you have the ADDS, that's the Active Directory Domain Services Server Role, installed on your Windows Server. Alternatively, if what you have is a member server, then you can install it from this link, Add Roles and Features. To enable the Recycle Bin, you need to open the Active Directory Administrative Center, and you do that from the Server Manager. I have the Windows Server Manager already opened on the screen, but in case you have it closed, you can launch it by clicking on Start and clicking on Server Manager. So once you have your Server Manager up, you click on Tools and you should be able to find the Active Directory Administrative Center. So let's give that a click. So this is what the Active Directory Administrative Center console looks like. Once you have it up, let's give our domain a click. And if you look to your right at the task pane, you should be able to find Enable Recycle Bin. So at the moment, the Recycle Bin on the server is not turned on. And we want to go right ahead and turn it on. So I'll give that a click. So it's giving us this warning. I'm going to click on OK. And what we need to do is to refresh the console. And now we have our Active Directory Recycle Bin turned on. So let's test things out to see if the Active Directory Recycle Bin that we just enabled is working just fine. And to do this, I'm going to create a test group and create a few users and add those users to the test group. And I will attempt to delete those users. The first thing I want to do is to create a container to hold this object that I'm going to be creating. That is my user object and my group object. So this container is known as organizational unit. So to create an organizational unit, I'll come to the task pane. I'll click on new and click on organizational unit. Let's call this sales and click on OK. So I'm going to get into my sales organizational unit and let's attempt to create our group here. I'll click on new and click on group. How about we call this group sales and click on OK. And now we can create our users. I'll click on new user. The first user I'm going to call Scott. Tiger. And our user logon name or user principal name. How about we stay with first name dot last name? So it's going to be Scott dot Tiger. Now notice that there are additional attributes that I can set up. We have additional attributes on the organization. If I wish, I can decide to make this user a member of different groups from here. In this example, we're going to leave things as they are and just click on OK to have this user created. Let's go, let's go ahead and create one more user. User, and I'm going to call this user Adam Smith. Adam.Smith is this user's login name and I'll assign a password to this user. And click on OK. Great. If I need to make these two users member of the sales group, there are a couple of ways to achieve this. One way of doing it would be to right click on the user and simply click on add to group. 
here i can type in the group name that we just created called sales check name and click on ok and now adam smith belongs to the sales group let's do the same for scott tiger but this time we're going to add him from the task pane so i'm going to click on how to group from here sales check name okay now let's attempt to delete these users or any of these objects how about we attempt to delete adam smith so I'll select Adam Smith and hit delete. Let's assume that we have made a mistake by deleting this user and would like to restore the user. So what we'll need to do if we'd like to restore the user is click on the domain and look for deleted object container. So I'm going to double click on that. And inside here, you should be able to see all your deleted objects. And as you can see, I have Adam Smith here. So if I need to restore this user, it is as simple as selecting the user and clicking on restore. And let's go back to our container, which is sales. Now you can see Adam Smith has been restored and that is it. That's how easy it is to restore a deleted object using the Active Directory Administrative Center.